All right, so now question six. So in question six, we are working with the power series for e to the x. Yeah, question six, I, I think, is a bit easier than question um, five, but yeah, probably not. Maybe they are of the same difficulty. Anyway, so part A. So in part A, we've got to compute the sum of two power series. Well, the, the first of them is, is kind of immediately straightforward because this is, uh, if you just look at it, you will notice that uh, you will obtain it from uh, this power series by letting x to be equal to 1, right? So it means that this is really e to the 1, which is e. Okay, so second power series. Uh, in the second power series, so notice that it, it begins with x squared, right? So uh, basically, we can take out x squared. So let me first take out x squared. So then I'm going to get 1 minus um, 2x plus now 2 squared x squared. So this is 2x squared over 2 factorial minus 2 cube. Well, it looks like 2 cube x cube, but this is just really 2x cube, right? So this is 2x cube over 3 factorial, well, plus uh, 2x to the 4 over 4 factorial, minus and so on. So the signs are alternating, right? Uh, but then, of course, you know, if you square anything, then um, the minus 1 squared becomes 1 squared, right? So you, you, you can really uh rewrite it as as you know as the as, as this minus 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 this is going to be the same thing and this is really just x squared times e to the power of minus two 